Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the edit. This is our roundup of new sewing pattern releases. We've got some good stuff this week, team. I think there's some sort of something for everyone in this batch of releases. Um, it feels nice now. January's kind of, we're kind of middle to at tail end of January. The releases are starting to kind of ramp up a bit, which is great because it's always it tends to be a bit quiet. I think there's something for everyone in this week's release section, so I'm going to get cracking. Um, the first one I've got is the Pattern Scout Joni Blouse and Dress. This is PDF only and comes in sizes UK 6 to 32. This, I think, is obviously feeling quite summery at the moment, but I feel like if we got started sewing it now, it would be done sort of springtime. Such a lovely dress and blouse, quite a lot of nice details on it. So if I show you the line drawing, we can see what's going on. You can see there's a really nice square neckline, raglan sleeve, and then the detail, the kind of core detail of this dress is, do, is shearing. So you can see on the back of the dress, the whole back panel, the top bit, just up to probably where your kind of bra line is, is sheared. Um, there's one line underneath the bust to add some shaping on the dress version. Um, then the top version has got, you can see it's got lines of um, shearing, kind of, what is it, one, two lines, which I think is really nice. It adds quite an interesting shaping. Again, um, it's that square neckline with raglan sleeves. Both the dress and the top, you can choose between long or short sleeves. And then there's a little bit, I think it's, it looks like there's some shearing again at the, I think it is shearing, it's hard to tell. Yeah, shearing at the cuff, so it brings it in. So it's a nice one, and if you haven't done shearing before, it's a really fun skill to learn how to do, and kind of not as hard as you think it's going to be, and quite satisfying. If you are someone who is a little bit, is quite meticulous, you'll really like it, trust me. So next up, I've got two patterns from Puff and Pencil. I'm gonna sort of talk about them together because they we sell their patterns in a bundle so that you can kind of, on their website, you can actually buy all their pattern pieces separately, but we've kind of pieced them together. So there are two patterns released called the Silhouette Blouse, and there's a variation, one of the patterns you can get with the sleeve option. So maybe if I talk about the one without the sleeve first, then we get more of an idea. So it's PDF only for these. They come in a UK 6 to 24. It's such a lovely, simple blouse shape. It's a really 90s corker, this one. So you can see that it's got um, princess seams at the front, princess seams at the back with a tiny little extra bit of shaping dart round just at the kind of your bust point. Then down the front there is the openings with little hook and eyes, which is so 90s amazingness. It's just, I felt, as soon as I saw it, I felt so nostalgic. Let me show you the one with the sleeve. Does anyone remember wearing these? Because I totally and utterly do. Um, yeah, so the sleeve variation of this, if you do like this shape and you want to do it with a sleeve, there are two options. There's one which is quite a close fitting sleeve that has a little slit up the kind of cuff, sort of up to about there, um, which is quite a kind of close fitting sleeve. Then there is another variation which you can make it with a slightly flared sleeve. Um, they both look great and you get both of those sort of sleeve options. Um, they're just good. They're just really good. I really like them and if you are having a sort of 90s moment this is definitely worth going and having a look at. So pat new pattern from Sew Over It. This is like cosy town if anyone is feeling like they want to make something really snugly. Imogen pyjamas by Sew Over It. They come in a size UK 6 to 30 PDF only. I really like these. There aren't actually that many pyjamas like this though which are kind of made out of jersey the bottoms feel like a pair of almost like a pair of tracksuit bottoms but perfect for this time of year so there are two variations for the top you can either have it with a little like button down the front or you can have it that's got a seam going across the top of the um of your chest area i like this again because you can then have a bit of a play with color if you wanted you could have the top bit if you do the seam version in a different color but these look like they'd be really nice and comfy and I I really like a jersey sort of stretchy pyjama and perfect for this time of year because I don't know about you guys I am in deep hibernation stations so this one would be great. Next up we've got 
the most gorgeous coat from Bella Loves Patterns. It's called the Grace Coat. It's PDF only. It's available in sizes UK 6 to 20. I absolutely love this. It's got so many nice details on this coat. You just, you're going you're gonna to be into it. So let's have a look. Double breasted coat, tie at the front that you can see. And for me, that looks kind of like, looks really nice. There's a lot more cool stuff going on so let's have a look at the draw line drawing um and then i will show you some details of the photography so you can see a kind of close up so the core thing for me that is interesting about this coat is that it's got a dolman sleeve which means the sleeve is cut the it's kind of like a grown on sleeve so the front panel of the coat is cut as one long piece it usually means then the sleeve is slightly tapered down towards the cuff um I like this, but the usual problem that you have with this sort of coat or cut for me is that you don't end up having a huge amount of movement around here, which is why there is usually a seam here. But they have cut it with an underarm gusset, which means it would add a lot more movement and you won't get that sort of deep de like kind of issue with fit. Really interesting. The other thing that I really liked about it is that there are, as it's a wrap coat, obviously there's a tie to kind of secure it, but there are also hidden kind of poppers on the front of the coat. I'll show you pictures. And there's also a little option to add a kind of closure up around the neckline as well. So if it's really cold and you want to kind of stay warm. I think it's really, I just really liked it. It's really interesting. Um, there's also a really lovely thing. Let me show you a picture where you can see that the inside of the waistband, if you don't want to have it on all the time, can be folded up and put inside the coat, which I just love. For me, like beautiful little tailoring details like that make a garment and I just think it's absolutely fab. So if you are in the market for a coat and you're feeling like you'd like to start 2024 with a challenge, I think this would be a really good one. I love the shape of it. It's bang on trend. It's an absolute classic shape. And can we just talk about how beautifully made the sample of this is? It's it's just so nice. Um, you can see all the lovely hand stitching details. So yeah, you can get you can kind of get really in and make it kind of beautiful, which is what we try to do with everything. But this one feels like you need to take your time and invest in it. So that one is my like probably my crush of the week in terms of patterns. So next up, we've got a batch of four patterns from Wardrobe By Me, which is really great. I love it when a designer releases things that can be worn together. So we've got a unisex jacket, we've got two men's patterns and one woman. So there's quite a lot that you can kind of play and they can all be worn together, which looks great. So let's start with the jacket. It's called the Unisex Painter Jacket. It comes in a size UK 6 to 26. Um, it's a classic workwear jacket. It's funny, isn't it, how things get released around the same time because we had a workwear, maybe not last week or the week, I can't remember, in the last couple of weeks. What you would expect, loose fitting, buttons down the front, unlined, made in a heavyweight cotton ideally if you're going to go down the workwear kind of traditional workwear group group root um three patch pockets on the front uh it's just a nice variant of this i like the collar shape particularly on this one um it feels slightly bigger than the traditional ones and i quite like that it kind of has a that's for me feels like a slight modern twist and you can see from the photographs it's designed to be wear worn oversized so the the sleeves are quite wide as well. Um, so yes, that is the first one. Then they have released a pair of trousers. So these come in a UK 4 to 24. They're available as PDF only. These are to me your kind of classic um, tailored trousers. They're quite, you can see from the pictures, they're designed to be cut quite loose. They've got quite a lot of fabric pleats at the front, fly front. Um, there's a contoured waistband as well. And um, then there are also pockets as well inside seam, which is great. Um, they're a really just nice shape. And if you are thinking about a pair of tailored trousers, then definitely have a look at them. And um, they've got all those nice details that you'd expect. 
So they've got a women's version of the cocoon pants and they've also relieved a men's version as well, which is fab. So this comes in sizes um, 26 to 42 inches. Again, it's exactly the same cut, well, kind of the same silhouette and shape. So it's got the pleats at the front. Um, again, it's got a um, zip up the front, so a proper fly. And yeah, so you can either make it or you can make it for you and whoever else you want to make it for so that for me is I really like the shape of these on men I think it's really nice and there aren't actually many patterns that have that quite exaggerated tailored shape which is very much coming in or back in at the moment so they're definitely worth going and having a look at so last but not least we have got um the men's woven polo shirt from wardrobe by me it comes in sizes extra extra small up, up to four times extra large um, so it's got a good size range it's a take on a classic polo shirt but the interesting thing about it is that it is made out of a woven fabric so it's a bit like a polo shirt but also you could call it you know like those popover shirts so the placket only comes down to sort of middle of the chest there is a pocket on the front and it should be a nice simple make actually so it's you can see here from the photograph is it's quite kind of boxy not too fitted um I, I like the idea of this actually as a you know it's quite a useful item for your wardrobe not too tricky to make it's got some of the shirt details but you don't have to do the whole placket down the front um, and the popover style is actually really fun to make if you haven't done that before it it's quite a nice new thing to learn so that is it. Um, I hope that was useful and you found something nice to kind of get your teeth stuck into. I will be back next week with another video. Have a lovely rest of your weekend. Bye.